Welcome to HiredMyWay.com, where we get you on the fast track to Hired. For a professional setting, there's no better place than LinkedIn. What we're going to cover here is some of the basics for the do's and don'ts and what you need to do to maximize your brand in front of employers. And you could be one connection away from your next job. Okay, so that we know that we have a professional picture up there that's good for employers to see. We've got our Twitter feed coming over so that the information we're sharing on Twitter will also be shared on LinkedIn. We've got a great summary so that right away we're letting employers know that we're the best candidate for the job. What else can we do on LinkedIn that's going to help us in our job search? One of the main things that I would recommend is that there's always safety in numbers. So let's go to where we see a group section here at the top of your bar and go ahead and click on the groups tab and let's see what happens. You're going to be directed to what is the LinkedIn groups page. This will let you know what memberships you have when it comes to particular groups. Groups can be anything from a company you used to work at before, alumni to a university that you are part of, whether it be a church group or a particular area of expertise when it comes to your area of focus. Now, what we're going to do real quick, in case you haven't already joined a group, is we're going to show you how to go out and find groups. You'll notice in the top right-hand section of the screen, there's a group search bar. And all you have to do is really type in an area that you're trying to look. We're going to do for purpose here, insurance. And you'll notice right away that a couple groups pop up. I'm going to go ahead and grab the top one here where it shows insurance professionals. We had over 16,000 members. If we're talking about safety and numbers, I'm starting to feel pretty safe. All right, you'll notice that it gives a brief little uh, description of what is going on when it comes to the group. It'll let you know when it's created, the membership, subgroups, who's the owner, manager, stuff like that. It's always good to profile when it comes to groups. Some groups are going to be good for you to join. Other groups may not be great for you. A nice thing that it'll show you too is that it lets you know what group members in your network are already members of this group, which is a very nice feature to have. All you have to do if you've selected that you want this group to indeed be something you want to be a part of, go ahead to the Join Group tab and go ahead and click right on that. What's that going to do is it's going to pull up some criteria when it comes to the group membership. It's going to let you know, um, do you want the group logo displayed when it comes to your profile? What email address in case you have more than one email account associated to your LinkedIn? Do you want to be sent um, information? When it comes to that, there's a digest email that's going to come out. And the frequency is something that you want to make sure you pay particular attention to. Do you want to get it daily or would you rather get it weekly? Also, it's going to ask you when it comes to announcements or messages, how do you want that to be able to perform when it comes to your intrusion level on LinkedIn. Once you go ahead and activated all the different criteria when it comes to the group, go ahead and hit join group. You'll see that tab at the bottom. Go ahead and click on that. For most groups, what's going to happen is your membership's going to be pending. It has to go through a criteria with the manager of that group to make sure that you do indeed belong to be there. Once you see that your membership has been approved, the logo for the group will appear and you will get an email notification. So when it comes to groups, there's a lot of power within them. If you're going to be an expert in your industry, you want to make sure that you're around all the information. Anything that's happening when it comes to the industry, I want to make sure that I'm on top of it. And so what I try to do is make sure that my groups are relevant to what my job needs are and what my area of focus is. So you'll see some of the different groups that I do have here. I've got the Detroit Job and Career Network, Detroit Young Professionals, Fusion Detroit, Future Trends, the Gorilla Job Search, Job and Career Network, the list goes on and on. You'll even see my old MSU days where my MSU Alumni Association all comes into play. There's some network after work, events for professionals, something on startups. I have quite a few groups because I see the power within them. People will post content, ask questions, share expertise, whether it be an article. There's a lot of good information when it comes to the groups, and it's a great way for you to get your voice recognized within an industry. Now, one thing you can do is I'm going to take you to the Hired My Way group. And you're probably asking, why would I want to be a member of the Hired My Way group? Well, I mean, if you're looking for work, we definitely have news feeds that are going to share information that are relevant and important to your job search. It's a great way to go ahead and ask questions. I mean, if you get got a question when it comes to your job search, come ask us here at Hired My Way. I mean, we will be monitoring this and you will get your answers right away. And it's just a great way when you find people that are in the same situation as you to know, one, that you're not alone, and two, to share information. Well, you'll have everything from news feeds that you see here 
that are coming across and you can keep this rotating through. We make sure that you have relevant information when it comes to Hire My Way group. Any group on LinkedIn will have a news feed where discussions or feeds are all shared so you can easily see that. If you want to start a discussion, all you have to do is go up here, it will be right next to your picture. The maximum length is 200 characters and you go ahead and you start a discussion. Now remember this is like the title to anything. You want it to be quick, fast and important. You want this to jump out and grab someone. So all you're really doing here is creating a title. You have the ability to post a comment by clicking the comment tab and all you do is just go ahead and type in there and comment when you're done. So for more information on social media and how to use it to promote your brand, check out our next segment in the series.